Okay, so this is going to be a quick tutorial where I want to show you how to use these animated mockups without our video templates. I'm sure that some of you might already have a, an animated scene that you're working on, or maybe you're like doing something really simple like a 360 spin around of the product and you simply don't need a, a video template as such. So for those users, we've created this comp over here called uh, product comps for use without video template. Um, a little too obvious? I don't know. I think it makes sense. So as you can see, there are three types of uh, product variations here. Uh, the first one is where the bottle is lying down on its back. There's one where it's standing up. And finally, one where it's floating above the ground. So you can pick whichever suits best uh, the animation or the, the concept designs that you're working with. Um, right, so say for my example, I want to use this floating bottle over here. So let me give you a quick demo of how you'd add this bottle into a new scene and then how do you animate it. So first things first, uh, let's create a new comp. And we're going to call it example. 10 seconds, HD, all good. In here then I'll need a background. White is good and I'm going to call it uh, BG. So that's my background. I switch over to my use without video templates comp. I select my floating bottle as well as its shadow. I copy them using a command C keyboard shortcut. I go here, control V, and that's my product in the scene. I also get an error here saying something, something, something. There is no camera in the scene. Okay, so we create a new camera. Okay, and that's fixed. Next, I'm going to center my bottle. And maybe I'll scale it down to say uh, 60%. Uh, where's my shadow? And here it is. And as you will see, what's cool here is that if I move my bottle, the shadow follows it automatically. So that comes in quite handy when animating things as this is simply one less thing to animate. Okay, so now what do we do here? I think I want the bottle to come in from the right and then stop as it gets here to the center. And I also want it to spin as it does so. So to create that, let's do it like this. Let's create a position keyframe over here. And here I want it to come in from outside of the frame of our shot. And uh, let's see here. Okay, that's looking good. And so next I want to animate its rotation. On the product, I go to its effects tab. And I, here I have a rotation controller. Let's remove any previous keyframes from it. Make sure this is uh, zero, zero, so that the label is uh, facing us. And now let's create a new keyframe. Then go to the very start of the animation, or no, actually over here. And then I wanna rotate it probably about this much. Move this guy to the start. And uh, I think that looks pretty good. Then uh, let's select both of these keyframes and ease them in. And then here we'll set it something, uh, something like this to give it a smooth curve uh, as the bottle comes to its stop. Okay, so let's see how this looks. All right, looking very, very nice. So as you can see, this is more or less the process to add one of these mockups into a brand new scene. Um, you just copy it from this comp, paste it into your own, and the only thing that you need to make sure is that you add that 3D camera. That's it.